here with MC Ting Budol. Yo, 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 come on, no, China City. <laughs> and um, we're here at his pop up event um, at Canal Street. <laughs> Sure, I'll introduce it. Yo, 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 China City, Dajia Hao, I'm NT Ting In 2008, I received a Fulbright scholarship to study hip hop in China, uh, and that really opened the door towards me studying and pursuing uh, China and Chinese hip hop. And so, this is an exhibition that's really a retrospective of my work over the past 12 years of that kind of focus. Uh, it begins with a virtual reality music video called Runaway. Uh, I shot it last year um, while on tour in China. Um, and then behind me on the wall is uh, the Misadventures of MC Timudong, MC Timudong Jumatshi. That was a project in 2008, that Fulbright project, uh, where I really got in tune with the Beijing hip hop scene. Uh, folks like Insang and Insar, and you know, living together, rapping together, making art together, and really documenting that golden age of hip hop in Beijing. And then on the monitor is a web series that's been updated since 2018 that really has to do with the difference now with the trap scene and folks like Higher Brothers and Nan One and Young 13D Baby and a yeah. whole new league of Generation Z rappers. So you can see the differences between those two scenes. And then all around in the front, uh, over here we have Sino Future TV, you know, Jong Pa Wei Lai. Uh, and this is uh, a collection of different pieces that represent the future of multimedia in art and sound. And uh, we have works from uh, 18 Uppercut, which is a collective from Singapore, uh, and their work called Duka, which is like this pan Asian mashup animation film. Uh, we have some work from W. Hai Huang, who's from Singapore, uh, in Chinese ethnicity, and then some work from Kai Lin, who's a DJ and multimedia experimental artist. So, past, present, and future. Wow, I just love everything, like how detailed it is and how much you go, like, really dig in underground. Like, Jie Di Qi, you know, mm -hmm. it's like very much they're like rappers, like uh, playing Chinese chess. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're just wondering, like, how you started this and, like, mm -hmm. why? Like, um, you know, as because it's it's very unusual, like. Um, that like an African American mm -hmm. citizen who um, ended up speaking Mandarin and really got into like the Chinese hip hop vibe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's it's cool too. Where now, like Chinese hip hop is a thing where people know like the yeah. higher brothers and know like these acts outside of those circles. Uh, but when I started doing it, I. Well, I mean, I really, I started taking Chinese in high school and I was always asking my teacher, where, where is the, where are the rappers at? Where the rap, where's the rap at? And, see. you know, since high school, I'd always been asking that question. And then finally, when I got a chance to study abroad, uh, I was able to, you know, find that scene. Uh -huh. um, in 2006, I, or, yeah, stumbled onto a party called Section 6 at Yugong uh -huh. um, Oh, know, yeah, from it's, there, it's very, Yugong Yichan is like... Legendary. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Very, mm -hmm. oh. and, yeah from there, it was really history after Yugong Yichan. Um, got to really like from that day. I was wearing a T-shirt that said Ting Bong, jumped up on stage and you know start rapping in English and Mandarin, and, and, and people were like, oh, whoa, 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 you know, he said Ting Bong, and 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 from there the name stuck. And so that's really that was back in 2006, 2007. Yeah. That was a great time. Yeah, it was, it was, it was like, really a great time. It was the golden time where like everybody, the young people, and then during the Olympic time, mm -hmm. I think that was a thing at that time in the society. Yeah. Yeah. And then we just wondering like, okay, last question is about who is your favorite Asian rapper? Oh, okay. I mean, it's it, it's hard to choose, but like, yeah. give us give us some hint so we can you know really jam up our uh, music. List. You know, I have to definitely shout out the artist that are part of the exhibition, W. Vi Wong, who's an incredible instrumentalist and has you know an incredible mind for sound and sound architecture mm -hmm. uh, and then of course the legendary Kai Lun uh, you know formerly known as Soul Speak who's just been he's probably the most uh, underrated understated legend of like the Beijing like DJ scene Marty and Soul Speak um, but for in terms of like MCs like rappers uh -huh. you know I'll, I'll do this you know in terms of like Folks that are doing English and Mandarin rap, folks like that, gotta give it up to like Mohan. He has incredible work oh. and an incredible like work, work ethic. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's the homie. Um, and then uh, as far as like 
you know, of course, like Jason Chu out on the West Coast is also doing some great stuff, and he's like, you know, super hard worth ethic too, again, with yeah. like blue assassins. As far as like Chinese MCs, of course, gotta give it up for Purple Soul. Like, you'll see the Purple Soul, like, uh, skateboard over there. Uh -huh. You know, you know, uh -huh. you know, they were some of the folks who were from the original group I, of Inksar. I've heard all of them. Yeah. Jeez, they're yeah. coming up, you know, yeah. the whole mainstream thing yeah. and everything. Definitely gotta check out Hong Nanzi if you want, like, stuff that actually speaks to like political purposes, social social issues that actually, and that's actually like hard. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, Shalau, of course, is like just is an incredibly poetic talent uh, and says things in Chinese that like cannot really be expressed in any other language. And then I gotta give it up for, uh, the last one I recommend is Losun, L-O-W-S-0-N. Um, and this is like a Generation Z rapper who has this like own Japanese influenced aesthetic, but that makes kind of electronic bubble track that's just incredible. So, yeah, yeah, I'm literally gonna search for them right now because yeah. I, I need some more on my playlist. Um, but one last bonus question. All right, Actually, love when the you talk about When you talk about MC, um, mm -hmm. I thought of like the whole, you know, Chinese live streaming thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Shibu, yeah. Yeah. it's like an MC Tian Yo. They call themselves MC, they call themselves rapper. Yeah. Like, Shuo Chang. Yeah. Like, do you agree with them? Do you like their content? Yeah, I've seen some of the videos. That's. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it's an important because there's like. There are a couple things, right? I feel yeah. like 10 years ago when I was like, oh, I came here to study like Shuo Chang, people thought yeah. I was talking about uh, the like comedy, like Xin Xiao, you know, that like, uh, uh, where it's like two people talking and then they're like making Shuo Chang. Yeah, Shuo Chang. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay. And then, you know, and that has some similarities with like this kind of newer form that you're talking about, the, like the guys who were like doing the gerbil shit. And then, um, but you know, this really interesting thing that I, like was on and when I just went back on tour this year, mm -hmm. it was part of this group chat on Weixin called uh -huh. like Rap Rap in China. It's like a okay. bunch of like rappers. Exclusive? Who are, yeah. Yeah. No, it's like 400 members. It's oh, not that wow. exclusive. Okay, it's, a, okay. it's a huge chat. That's awesome. But in it, it's like they're always looking for, hey, I'm looking for an MC. I'm looking for an MC. I'm looking for an MC. I'm like, perfect. MC Tim Dong, <laughs> yeah. send you my video. Uh -huh. And then they send me back stuff like, it's like, oh, this is great. But could you send me something that is you not rapping? Right? And it's like, oh, you know, what do you mean? Like, the kind of MC that's like, oh, they just tell everybody, like, talk, 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 not saying anything. You know, they're like, yeah, we need that. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. You got it. You got it. It's like, oh, when she got you, you know, when she got you, you got you, I got you, you got you, know, MC. You know, but that kind of MC. And so that actually had a, like, really rubbed me the wrong way. And this, you know, I think you really do need to preserve the title of Shwacha for rap or hip hop. Yeah. You know, and that as a thing versus, you know, and really people need to understand what that is and what it's about and that it's not something else. I agree. Thank you so much. No, thank you. This is amazing. Thank you, buddy. Yes, buddy. Yes.